Unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. You need to hear what Gamil has just said. Buhari should sponsor good bandits that will fight the bad ones. Gamil tells Buhari, this is, adv this is ad his advice, that the country, because in inevitably it will be the country's responsibility, yes? Buhari is just a figurehead representing. The country should sponsor eh, good bandits. How, what's your definition of good bandits? Who are they? I mean, what do you define as good bandits? Inevitably, he has said that they should give them amnesty. They did not answer that. The next thing again is the same is the same uh, product repackaging. You know, when you work in branding companies and uh, a product was has not been doing quite well because other competitors have come into the market. One of the things you do to enhance the same product that was once a choice product and everybody was, you know, loved it, wanted it. But because a new product has come, you know, about packaging, advertising and all that, you know, words of mouth spreading of it. We make it seemingly feel like the new product is somewhat better than the old product. That's not very true all the time. And so he's rebranding the uh, pain of bandits. He's rebranding it. This way saying, he's calling them now good bandits. So that he can fight the bad bandits. How do, what, what's your definition? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Sponsor good bandits that will fight the bad ones. Gamu tells Buhari. Insecurity in Nigeria. They are bandits. They are not criminals. They are not a terrorist. They are bandits. But IPOB are criminals. Are terrorists. Can you see how unfair Nigeria is? Insecurity in Nigeria is terribly affecting the economic growth in the nation. The respected Islamic clergy, Gamu, has just made a shocking statement by clarifying and declaring bandits as good and bad. The Islamic clergy has urged President Muhammad Buhari government to sponsor the good bandits group so as to stop insecurity in the country. He spoke to the punch as he explained that the bandits are ready for peaceful negotiation and discussion. Was this not the same thing he said some time ago, that he should give them amnesty? And people are asking, amnesty from what? From killing, destroying lives and property. Then what happened to Yahoo boys? Where? I mean, do you get what I mean? Do you know how many Yahoo boys are under Krieg and they just shoot and kill every day? You don't know. Ah, my dear, a lot is going on in this country. A lot of dark corners here and there. People are very, hmm, you don't understand what's happening. It's quite unfortunate, very unfortunate, I, I must tell you, very unfortunate, you see. He spoke to the punch as he explained that the bandits are ready for peaceful negotiation and discussion with the federal government. In addition, he stated that this could help the federal government to stop the activities of bad bandits. See what Gami said. We are always trying to do our best, but you see, you need two hands to shake. You know these people, the bandits, needs engagement from the government itself. If you, dis if you dialogue with them without the involvement of the government, it is a problem. Furthermore, he revealed that majority of the good bandits are ready to assist the government to fight the bad ones that have been causing havoc in the country. Mr. Gamu therefore urged the federal government, Muhammad Buhari, not to misuse this opportunity. Can you see the threat and the pressure being put on legally to collect money from the nation? Why they station a, a war in the Southeast? Hope being the chairman, David Umayi being the next of a king. Shocking further, he referred to, this is how Sh Sh Gamu has finished with the spearheading of the bandits whom he said will stop the agitation and um, they will be able to help out in the country. In what way, sense, or how or kind? So my people, I don't understand what Gami is up to. The good, the, the good uh, bandits, the bad bandits, I don't get it. I don't understand what he's really up to. I don't get it at all. This is rather very unfortunate that um, this is the way our country has come to be. And this is the way people who have no say who should not speak are the ones now, you know, giving leadership and telling the government what to do. It's so unfortunate, you know, it's so unfortunate. I, 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 I don't see, you know, do you know the funniest thing, my people? I must really explain to you and tell you sincerely what is going on in this country. Now, 
there is a disguise, yes, to bring these people up to speed with collecting money legally so that when there is audit and they are saying trillions, which of course they steal anyway, but this one will be a legal one, you know, legally stealing money and nobody saying anything. This is the new, this is the new scheme. This is the new scam. This is the fresh new scam. So what's the new scam? The bandits, they want money. They want to shake hands with the government. The government of Nigeria should shake hands with them. Of, this is where Buhari has been driving at all along, in case you're not aware. This is the deceit ongoing all along that we eventually get here. So the plan is the federal government will start giving them money, assist them. Billions of Naira we're talking about. So did you hear him? He said when you are negotiating with bandits and the federal government is not involved, they are not happy. And they are not happy. What they want, they want to, they want to, can you see the Islamization agenda already? They want to rule Nigeria. And somebody will tell me there is no plan. There is no plan. This is rather very absurd. People who, you, you know what they've been doing? Over two decades now, some children have not been to school. There are some videos making rounds. I can't post them because of the sensitive nature. Where you see children holding guns. As dissembling it and assembling it, they have been taught on how to commit atrocities. You don't understand. Children as young as 10, 11. You see what they are doing to women and children, girls. Those kind of sensitive videos, if you put it on YouTube, YouTube is going to block it off because they don't promote hate. They don't promote violence, especially with children. I know that they are very sensitive to it. So I can't produce, I can't, you know, show those videos. However, you must know that these things are happening. You must be aware that they are happening. Maybe some of you have seen them. You see, this is, I mean, in Nigeria today, say they should give them uh, blah, 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 blah. They should assist them. They want to shake hands with the government. And funny enough, do you know Lai, Lai Mohammed agreed that they know where these bandits are, but they don't want to engage them. Apple Media will produce you with that video that they actually know where they are, but that they are being careful. And people are asking, now, the victims are the ones suffering. Why those who commit, who made people to become victims that have displaced children, women, you know, murdered their parents, are the ones being considered and thought about to be rehabilitated? There was a little girl who, whose parents were killed and she ran away from their clutches. Do you know today she cannot go to school? She's stranded. The federal government, nothing for such people. Yet, they are planning for bandits. Lai Mohammed Garuba Shewu and Gamu itself. God deliver us. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.